now we are going to see a second experiment which is nothing but how to design and multiplayer which should be minimum of 4 bit using our HDL, Verilog HDL and after that we have to simulate it using silent software and then uh, followed by the simulation we can check the kit implementation using our silence kit so now let me open the silence software now our silence window got opened here go for file and choose new project I mean new project wizard now to give the name of the project to be that so now we are going to design our multiplayer so I'm going to give the name as multiplayer players so then after giving the name click next and we have to verify whether the specifications are correct it should be Spartan 3E in our family section and in devices X3S 500E and package of T2 specific and speed should be minus 4. Once you verify the specification, click next and you can check your project name and also the path of your project and which nature you are going to design our circuit, which is nothing but HTL. Then all family specification also available here. Once you verify this, click finish. And now in our design window, you can find in the hierarchical left side of our Xilinx. So here we can check the project which we have created and the device which we have selected. So once it is uh, created, highlight the device and right click and choose new source. Now the new source wizard will be opening that select the op option of Verilog modules so, because we are going to write the code in terms of Verilog so I am choosing this and here also again give the name of the module so I am giving as multiplayers once you, once you provide the name click next and if you want to create the input and the output modules uh, you can create here using this port name but let me leave this and I can create in the code. So click next and click finish. Say now our top module, which is our V file is created here. So this V file window, once you highlight this file, you will get the V file window, which is available here. And here you can type your code. See, I have pasted the code, which I have already copied. So we have to ensure whether our, our syntax is correct. So I'm going to change the name as multipliers and input output. So these are the input. A is a non 4 bit input and B is another 4 bit input. Our total product we can check in this M register. So these are the partial products. So P in the sense product values, S in the sense sum value, C in the sense carry value. And these AND operations are nothing but our partial product. And after the product product multiplication operation is performed, we have to add those. So for that purpose, we have used a half adder for our addition. And then now we have to define that half adder module, which is nothing but our sub module. So here it is, module half. We have to define input and output separately for our half adder module. So in half adder module, XR operation should perform as for sum and for a carry, we have to perform AND operation. So this module get ends. After that full adder, in order to process our three inputs, we are going for our full adder operation. So in some cases of multiplication, we need to add three partial products. So for that purpose, we have written the submodule for full adder. So we are defining the wires as well. And we have to ensure whether the syntaxes are right. 
once the syntaxes are right you can get the blue symbol so we have typed the code and after that click save once you saved highlight the multiplier highlight the file name and go for the process window there under synthesis you can click that plus symbol it will get expanded within that go for the option of check syntax right click that and choose run it is running okay you can find a green verified tick mark here once it is completed we can go for test bench adding the test bench to check the simulation so for that again go to the devices and right click and choose the option of new source in the new source we will start go for the option verilog text fixture and give the name multipliers underscore test so in order to differentiate our v file from our test bench file i have given the name as underscore test once you give the name click finish now our test bench is creating and after that from implementation window we have to switch to simulation window so i have changed the simulation window and highlight the multiplayer test and once you highlight you will get the icm simulator option that go for behavior check syntax okay to successfully verified and after that click the option of simulate behavior model right click that and choose run so our simulation is running now our simulation window is getting open so here we can see our input a is a non input which is having 4 bit number another input of b so now i'm going to force the value so force constant and there go for and sign decimal i'm going to change the radix so for easier verification of the answer i'm doing so so for a i'm giving 10 and for b also i'm going to give value of 10 so click apply and then okay then after that you have to save the file once you saved click run button so go for the end operation you can get the answer here so i have given the value of a as 10 so we can verify that by changing the radix so i have changed to binary to unsigned decimal just for verification purpose so it will be easy for us to verify the result so you can check now our answer so for a i have given 10 b also i have given 10 so my answer is 100 so in this way we can check the multiplication of any two four bit numbers by using this code so also we can check the rtl view for that how to move to the implementation window again and highlight the multiplier file and in synthesis you can find the v rtl schematic to run that it is running click okay so this is the schematic view of our multiplier so once you zoom it you can get the available gates inside our multiplier so after this we have we can see the git implementation 
Now we are going to see how to implement this multiplier program into our FPGA board. For Git implementation, you have to add a new file through to this device. So select the device in the hierarchical window and right click it there. Go for new source and here in this new source wizard, you have to choose the option of implementation constraint file. And after that, you have to provide the name for that file. So we can give the name as multiplayer or what, what is the program you are doing, you can give the same name. So I, I have already given the name, so I'm going to ignore it. So we can check that it is added inside our UCF. So which I have already done here, it is available here, multi.ucf. I'm going to open that. So this is nothing but our specifications in FBGA board. We are allocating each ping for each input. So since we are performing our 4-bit multiplication, this A0 to A3, 4 inputs of our A are allocated to this T4, T12, T9 and T7 ping of our FBJ board. Similarly, our second input B0 to B3, 4-bit input is allocated to the pin number of T12, G12, H1 and R3. And after that, we have to check the output. So the output will be displayed in the form of a LED glowing. So here the LED pins also I have allocated for my outputs. So the, the output will be in 8 bit number. So I have given the uh, so I have given the pin number R1 to R10, which is which is the LED allocation in our FBGA board. So once we have allocated this pin assignment, we have to save it, and after that. You have to highlight this multi uh, multiplier file which is saved in .v and after that you have to move on and choose the option of implement design. So you can find here implement design. You have to right click that and run and you have to check whether all the constraints are verified and we are getting the uh, green color tick mark so which I have already done so you can see here translate uh, operation mapping operation plays and root operations. All the three has been successfully verified. So once this is verified, you have to go for generating programming file option. So that uh, that will also get verified. Once it is verified, then move on to configure target device. So once you click it, you can get a new impact file window. I can show here. So this is the impact file win ISE impact window, which will be opening once you click the uh, configure window option. After that here go for boundary scan and right click this and you can get an option of add siling device. Uh, after that right click that siling device and your device will be added here. Once it is added uh, select this device and click the option of programming. Once the program is successful it will, you will get the option as programming successful. So you will get this uh, dialog box executing command it has to be it will take nearly 100% to complete. Once this complete, you will get this program succeeded option. And see, you can check here. This is our FBGA board. Here, I have connected the JTAC pin to our JTAC mode of the mode port of our FBGA board. And another one using the river cable, I have connected at the end of our CPU. And here, you can check our output here. So before checking the output, we can go through the simulation output and after that we can come here. So in simulation output, for 4 bit uh, multiplication, I have given the values as uh, A value as 1010 and B value as 1010. So my multiplication output should be 0, double one, double zero, one, double zero. So this is the output we have to get in our FBGA kit. So for that, first of all, we have to give this input to our FPGA. So we can see that. We can go through here. These are the toggles which, is, which we have allocated. Start from switch number 4 to switch number 19 we can use. Since it is a 4-bit multiplier, we have to provide only 2 inputs which will carry each of 4 bits. So that 1, 0, 1, 0, I have given here this using this toggle switch. And similarly for B0. Oh, sorry, this is for A0, uh, this is for, this is our A0, 
A1, A2 and A3 which indicates all the four bits of our A input and after that B0, B1, B2 and B3 which indicates our second input B and all the LEDs available here indicates our options, uh, sorry answers. So once it is glowing we can conclude the answer is high value that is 1. If it is not glowing we can conclude it is a 0 value. So we, I have given the uh, inputs also. Once the toggle switches are uh, at the uh, lower position, you can say it is an input of 0. So here the toggle switch is in upper position. So you can change it also. Once I change, you can get the difference in our output. So this is the uh, output for our um, uh, two inputs which I have shown in our simulation window. So you can check here. Here I have given 0 and 1. Here 0 and 1. Here also I have given 0, 1, 0, 1. So my outputs are double 0, 1, triple 0, double 1 and 0. So LEDs are glowing correctly. In this way we can uh, we can dump our coding into our FBGA board and using the toggle switches and LED glowing we can check our the outputs. So the toggle switches are used to provide our input and the LEDs are used to check our outputs. Thank you.